CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy recently spoke to the co-chair of the Progressive Caucus, Congressman Mark Pocan from Wisconsin, about why Democrats believe a change is in order for them. I think there's three main things we're looking at. One, um, obviously, uh, health care is one of the top issues in the country. People uh, need to have health care. Uh, and prescription drugs uh, have gone up so fast, so much, that that's really affected health care costs. So that's one issue area. Uh, another is uh, good paying jobs, especially with an investment in our infrastructure. According to the American Society of Civil Engineers, we have a D plus grade for the nation's infrastructure, and we want to put a trillion dollars in uh, right away to help uh, create those jobs and fix our crumbling roads bridges, schools, and, and internet. And, and then finally, addressing the corruption in Washington. There's just so much going on right now that people are so tired of. Uh, I don't know about down in Florida, but in Wisconsin, uh, we've had a couple special elections for state Senate races that have gone from 17 points Trump to 10 points for the Democrats. People are just tired of what's happening uh, with this country. They don't feel like it's the country that uh, they've always been a part of uh, by the way politics is happening. And uh, we just want to make it, again, work for everyone. One of the things that I know you advocated for is the abolition of ICE. Um, there seems to be that the Democrats seem to be a little split on this. Some think that it doesn't work in terms of being good politics to talk about abolishing ICE, that it almost seems that people are therefore anti-law enforcement. The president has certainly tried to paint those of you who sure. call for the abolition of ICE that way. And I guess what I'm wondering is, how is it any different than the folks on the Republican side who say we should do away with the IRS? Aren't there functions that both need to, to be served, and shouldn't there be a role for each? Yeah, you know, it's a great question, and this is one of the reasons I think Dave Richardson is matching the district so well. You have more ICE raids down here than just about anywhere in the country. ICE was originally created by about 20 different agencies pitching in after 9-11 important part after 9-11 to address a domestic terrorism but also human trafficking gangs and drugs but are really around the terrorism issue the way the president's misusing ice uh, just to prove his need for a border wall uh, has made it that it no longer can accomplish those original functions that why it was created so what's happening right now in wisconsin in beloit wisconsin a community of 32,000 people there's ice agents sitting in the head start school parking lot uh, and people are afraid to take their kids in we've got people who no longer will talk to ice agents if you really want to go after a bad player, um, someone who's really about domestic terrorism, you need to be able to gain confidences in communities. Now, if they see an ice jacket, people take off running. So they're going after people with speeding violations. They're going after people, in the case of Michigan, someone with a, a two-decade-old long domestic, uh, disorderly conduct violation, someone who's a doctor uh, now and 43 years old that came here at five. Uh, the agency needs to be seriously reformed. So let's take those essential functions, which there are essential functions, give those back to some of the original agencies that did that, but let's get rid of the way that the agency has been misused to the point that it's no longer able to stop uh, any chances of domestic terrorism. What is, why is it important for the Democrats to take back the House, in your opinion? What does that mean exactly? Yeah, I'll tell you, you know, I, I've been in government now for 25 years. I spent 14 years in the state legislature, six years now in Congress, local government before that. I've never seen anything so dysfunctional. Um, essentially, Republican leadership has given the car keys to the Tea Party, 40 people, uh, extremists, who uh, basically usurp 90 percent of us in Congress. We can't pass things as simple as budget bills without doing omnibuses. Uh, we can't function right now and the best way to change that is to change who's in charge also with Donald Trump coming in uh, there's a lot of other issues around corruption you know I think one of the interesting things is he and Bernie Sanders had a similar message whether it was drain the swamp or the systems rigged against you it resonated with people it was an accurate message the problem is Donald Trump didn't tell you that he just dredged the, the uh, swamp even bigger and built a high-rise luxury condo on it he's put even more of that kind of behavior there we need to systematically reform the system the the way you're going to do that is you change uh, the faces of Congress, and that's changing the leadership in the House. And those committee chairs are important. Absolutely. In fact, there are uh, a dozen people in the Progressive Caucus who are poised to be committee chairs should we take the majority, and that's extremely important because that helps set the agenda.